Audi was, even very recently, seen as a near-luxury brand, on par with niche of specific European automakers like Saab and Volvo. But early in the 21st century, the foreign circus from Ingolstadt found a way to elevate itself to the level of its aspirational German rivals at Mercedes and BMW. While these brands were immersed in what we like to refer to as their Coco period, a moment in which the exteriors of their cars gained bulges and, ahem, bangles, and their interiors failed to keep pace with the march of technology, Audi kept it simple. Its designs avoided the imperious Fabergé gilding of bands, or the Gouriasque swoop and swoon of Bimmer. Instead, they were clean inside and out, with simple and elegant lines, comprehensible ergonomics, and subtle new signatures that were recognizable without being in any way overwrought. Customers, alienated by their rivals, flocked. Sales rocketed. And Audi became known as a formal, functional design leader, the mid-century modern architecture of the luxury vehicle world. But now BMW and Mercedes have taken note and corrected course. Both brands have discarded their dalliance with carbon clarity and are now, debatably, near the top of their game design-wise. Benz is delivering handsome stolidity not seen since the Bruno Sacco era of the 70s and 80s, and BMW has regained a grip on the kind of elegant sportiness characterized by Paul Brack during the same time period. And the interiors of both brands are consistently on a level of craftsmanship, attention to detail, the light, and material selection and innovation once reserved for Bentley and Rolls. Audi was, even very recently, seen as a near-luxury brand, on par with niche of specific European automakers like Saab.